Can we read the word of God in the book of Ephesians, the very place we have been reading in Jesus' name. <clears throat> so at least it was not only being challenged, at least you have also heard some good things. Some good things are also coming out of you. Amen. Ephesians chapter 6. Why first of Sita? From verse 10 to 18. We will read together, we shall be the summer. Concurrently in English and Kiswahili. Amen. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord. Hatimae, mzidi kuwa hodari katika buwana, katika wezo waki. And in the power of his might. Na katika wezo wanguvu zaki. Put on the whole armor of God. Vaeni sila zote za mungu. That you may be able to to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. But against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, Mpate kuweza kushinana siku siku ya uovu. And having done all to stand. Na mkiisha kuya timiza yote. Stand therefore having your loins gut about with truth. Kusimama basi simameni simameni hali mejifunga kweli ya viunoni viunoni. And having on the breastplate of righteousness. And your, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith. Zaidi ya yote mkitua ngao ya imani. Wherewith you shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. Ambaye kwa hiyo mtaweza kuizima mishale yote yenye moto ya yule muovu. And take the helmet of salvation. Tena muipoke chapeo ya wakovu. And the sword of the spirit. Na upanga waroho. Which is the word of God. Ambao ni neno la mungu. Verse 18, praying always with all prayer and supplication. Saru wa kumna nane, kwa sala zote na maombi, mkisali kila wakati, katika roho. Verse 18 again, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit. Saru wa kumna nane, tosema ya kwamba, kwa soma, kwa soma hivo, kwa sala zote na maombi, mkisali kila wakati, katika roho. And watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. Mugikesha kwa jambo hilo na kudumu katika kuwao kwa ombea watakatifu wote. Thank you Lord for your word. Baba ni asande kwa neno lako. As we share your word. We pray that you speak to every one of us as an individual. Baba tunaombo kapate kunena wa kila mmoja wetu katika ukumbi huu. Including the viewer on Revival TV. Hata yula nao tutazama kwenye runinga hii. We thank you Father. Baba tunakushukuru. In Jesus holy name. Katika jina la Yesu. So, just like we were saying another time. Jinzi tuvio kwa tukisema wakati mwingine. The Bible makes it so clear to us that every believer is in a warfare. Na Biblia katika maandiko inatufundisha kwa wazi ya kwamba kila muamini yugo katika vita. From the moment we got saved, tangia wakati utipata kuokoka, we declared warfare against the devil. 
tangia wakati tulipata kuokoka tukapata kutangaza vita mbidi ya ibilisi whenever we read the bible it looks like there are two there are two kingdoms that are in opposition tunafahamu ya kwamba tunazo falme mbili zinapofanya kazi there is on the one hand the kingdom of darkness kwa upande mmoja kunao falme wa giza that is ruled by the god of this world small g the god of this world kunao falme wa giza ambao unatawala na miungu ya dunia hii where the devil is ruling that kingdom of darkness with all his principalities powers of darkness which we have read there on the hand the other hand there is the kingdom of god which shows itself through the children of God. The Bible says that Jesus said that the kingdom of God is within you. We who are believers is a spiritual kingdom. And the Bible is telling us that the warfare that is going on between the kingdom of light and the kingdom of darkness is a spiritual warfare. It's a spiritual warfare. Praise the Lord. So the Bible tells us very clearly that we wrestle not against flesh and blood. It's not a physical warfare. It's not against our fellow man. Our fellow man may be an instrument. The devil could use them Uh, God could use them. Hata Mungu aweze kumtumia. So we are not wrestling against that person. Yaani hatufanyi vita bidi ya huyu ndugu yetu. We are wrestling against the evil power. Tunapigana vita dhidi ya mapepo. Spiritual wickedness. Yaani mapepo ambayo ni falme ya giza. That is walking through that person. Ambayo inafanya kazi kupitia kwa huyu mtu. Praise the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Amen. So in another place in 2 Corinthians Katika wa Korinzo inasema pia chapter 10 verse 4 you know it very well Katika wa pili mlango wa 10 it says the weapons of our warfare Inasema kwamba silaha zetu za vita are not carnal si silaha za mwili they are not physical weapons si silaha ambazo ni za asili because the warfare is spiritual kwa sababu vita vyetu ni vya kiroho god has not given us carnal weapons mungu hajatupa silaha ambazo ni za asili god has given us spiritual weapons mungu ametupa silaha ambazo ni za kiroho amen amen And as we are reading in this word if we properly use those weapons if we properly use the armor God has provided the Bible says we shall be able to withstand all the wiles of the devil praise God We shall be able to resist those powers and defeat them in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. We shall be able to quench every fire attack. Thank you Lord. I'm so glad the Bible says quench all the fire attack of the wicked. Not some of them but all of them no matter how fiery they are no matter from where they have been launched we shall be able to quench all of them Amen, Amen. Glory to God Hallelujah Hallelujah Amen. Amen. I mean if you have if you you have armor 
na kama unazo silaha that is able to counter all the weapons of your enemy iwapo unazo silaha ambazo zinaweza kupingana ama kukuzidi yule adui wako and totally destroy them na umalize kabisa make them powerless na wawe, hawana uwezo wote that is something you can rejoice about kweli hiyo ni kitu ambayo waweza kufurahia kwao praise the lord bwana yesu asifiwe amen amen that the holy spirit has identified ya kwamba roho mtakatifu amepata kuzipata six areas or six places that we needed protection na roho mtakatifu amepata kuzipata sehemu sita ambazo tunahitaji ulinzi and he provided an armor a piece of armor for every one of them na amepeana silaha ya kulinda sehemu hizo the helmet of salvation can you lay your hand say helmet of salvation helmet of salvation say breastplate of righteousness breastplate of righteousness say belt of truth belt of truth mshipo wa kweli say the preparation the preparation maandalizi of the gospel of peace ya kueneza habari njema upon our feet bidi ya miguu zetu say the shield of faith shield of faith say the sword of the spirit the sword of spirit upanga. which is the word of god mbao ni neno la mungu praise the lord bwana yesu asifiwe amen with all that armor in place tukiwa na hizo silaha zote tukiwa nazo properly in place yani tuko nazo kabisa we become impenetrable tunafika kiwango ya kwamba haduya hana uwezo we become impenetrable kutubamia praise the lord you know for a long time maybe you also were in a similar thinking like i was pengine kwa muda fulani ulikuwa katika wazo kama ile ambayo mchungaji yako nalo i thought that scripture where jesus said nilikuwa na wazia ile andika ambayo yesu akasema upon this rock i will build my church yani juu ya mwamba huu nitajenga kanisa langu and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it na milango ya kuzimu haitapata kupenya ndani i thought that scripture nilikuwa na wazia ile andiko only meant like we the church ilikuwa na shiria kwamba inasema kuhusu tu kanisa if you picture us like we are in a, inside a building yani tuwe na wazo kwamba tuko kwa ndani ya jengo i used to think only in that context that the gates of hell cannot be able to to penetrate to to prevail against us cannot be able to come in yes. come in i'm thinking i was only thinking in the context of coming in the gates of hell cannot prevail against against us na nilikuwa nawazia kwamba ile andiko Yesu akasema kwamba nitajenga kanisa langu na katika mwamba huu hakuna falme ya giza ama vita vyote kutoka falme ya giza itapata kuingia mchungaji anasema kwamba alikuwa nawazia katika hali ya mishale katika hali ya kushambuliwa tu hali ya kuingia mm. hiyo ni wazo alikuwa nalo but i understood out with time there are things that we we understand with time kuna vitu ambavyo tunakuwa na ufahamu tunapoendelea that the lord has sent us to be preaching the gospel na mungu amepata kututuma katika hali ya kuenenda kuhubiri habari njema to be going out tuwe watu wa kuonyesha not just and close si katika hali ya kuwa katika kanisa tu so i understood that scripture nilifahamu andiko hilo where the lord says that the gates of hell cannot prevail against na baba anasema kwamba milango ya kuzimu haitapata kutuzidi that when we are going out to preach the gospel wakati tumeenda nje kuhubiri habari njema to reach out to the gospel and we know that the devil has blinded the minds of people na unajua kwamba shetani amepata kuwafunga macho mawazo wa watu that they cannot believe they cannot see the glory yes. of god in the gospel of jesus christ wewe wakapona mwangaza wakati kuona utukufu ambao uko katika habari njema ya Yesu Mnazareti wakakosa kuona utukufu wa Mungu katika injili amen i understood that it's not only in the matter of the gates of hell prevailing against us but 
the gates of hell cannot resist us as we take the gospel. They cannot yes. prevent us. Yes. They cannot stop yes. us yes. from preaching the gospel. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 Said in Kiswahili. Tuasama ya kwamba, siti heri tu katika hali ya mapepo kutushambulia tukiwa ndani ya kanisa. Mm-hmm. Baali ya kwamba tunapoenda kule inje, hayale mashambulizi hayawezi kutufikia wala kutuguza. Hawawezi. Yes. Sema hawawezi. Hawawezi. Kutuzuia. Kutuzuia. Hawawezi kutupinga. Hawawezi kutupinga. Hawawezi kusema hamuendi, hamu, yes. hamuwezi kuteka mji huu. Yes. They cannot stand in our way. Hawawezi kusema They cannot pinget. prevail Hawawezi against kutuzi. us as we go. Hawawezi kutuzili na poenda kubiri habari njema. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Somebody wave your hand and say thank you Lord for the armor you are providing. The whole armor you are providing. In the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. But this armor we are cautioned how to use it. Especially in that verse which I, I just want to say a few things about we wrestle not against flesh and blood it's a spiritual warfare against spiritual darkness spiritual darkness hallelujah amen, amen. amen. I, I believe that a, a strategy of the enemy Apostle Paul says we are not ignorant of his devices. We are not ignorant of the devices of the devil. I was just meditating on that scripture. That we wrestle not against flesh and blood. But against principalities. I, be, I believe that one strategy of the devil. He, 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 he tries many strategies. Maybe I begin with, with, with being strong in the Lord. First time. He says be strong in the Lord And in the power of his might I, I believe one strategy of the devil Is to try to make us think that we are strong in ourselves Jesus himself said you can do nothing without me. We cannot be strong in ourselves. Every time and every day. We are to wait upon the Lord. To renew our strength. To clothe us with his strength. Even in a service like this, it's meant to refresh us. It's meant to give us new strength. By the time you leave out there, you should be clothed with some strength from the Lord. Someone should have said amen. The viewer on TV is saying a better amen. I believe they will say a better amen. The Bible says, be strong in the Lord. And in the power of his might. Let me leave that one. It looks like it's not it's not stirring you up enough. I believe another strategy of the devil is to try to see us is to try to make us think that our brother is our enemy. Yes. 
to try to convince you Yaani shetani anakuja katika hali ya kukushawishi. Problems you are going through. Yaani zile shida unapitia is because of so and so. Ni kwa sababu ya mtu fulani. Is because of so and so sister. Ni kwa sababu ya dada ya mtu fulani. No wonder I hear. Tuposa mimi usikia that when people go to sorcerers diviners, watu wanapoenda kwa waganga kule nje, witchcraft workers, wale wanaotenda mambo ya uchawi to try to seek solutions wao jaribu kwenda kwa wachawi wa ganda kwa suluhu i understand mchungaji anasema nafahamu that they tell you wao wanakuambia so and so who is your neighbor next door has bewitched you mtu fulani ambao ni jirani yako ako pande ule ndio amekukuroga pale oh i am the only one who has heard this stories pengine tu ni mimi nimesikia hayo You are so holy you have never Mani heard of this. Pale. God bless you so Mungu much. Wabariki pale. God bless you. Mungu wabariki. But it tells us that the devil seeks to tell us yani that our warfare is against flesh and blood. He tries to make us ignorant of the fact that it is a spiritual warfare. So he brings us down so to the point we are seeing our brother as our enemy. Is because so and so did this. Sababu yalinifanyia haya. Say this and this. Akasema haya. That's why I'm suffering. Niposa nina hali ya maumivu. And so we end up Why 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 does he do that? Why does the devil? Bona muovu shetani anafanya haya. It is so that we leave our spiritual weapons. Niposa tukapate kuacha silaha zetu ambazo ni za kiroho. The armor that God has given us. Yaani silaha ambazo ni kamilifu Mungu ametupa. And now we turn to carnal weapons. Sasa tugeuke tugeukie silaha ambazo ni za asili ya Mungu. Carnal weapons. If my brother wrongs me or if my brother said something about me. Kama ndugu yangu amenifanyia makosa au amesema jambo kinyume nami. If I react in a way like to retaliate nikit wakati nitapata kuitikia kana kwamba ninarejesha jinzi alipata kunitendea or return evil for evil yani nipate kutenda maovu kwa sababu amenitendea maovu return an insult for an insult akikutusi we unatusi pia that is being carnal hiyo ni sasa swala la mwili you are using carnal weapons hiyo ni sasa ni silaha ambazo ni za mwili hizo instead of fighting the enemy badala kupigana na adui now you choose to retaliate against your brother wewe unaanza kumgeukia ndugu yako to be angry against your brother unakuwa na hasira na ndugu yako you see the devil has succeeded hapo shetani amepata kufaulu to bring us down amekushusha pale from the powerful invincible armor of god Naona kwamba shetani amepata kushuka ukatoka mahali kutushusha, kutushusha badala ya kutumia silaha silizo na uweza wa kusimisha mishale yote ya yule mvu sasa badala yake tumeshuka tunapigana sasa mwili kwa mwili damu na nyama yes. flesh and blood damu na nyama Bwana sifiwe. I'm saying our warfare is a spiritual warfare. Nasema kwamba vita vyetu ni vita vya vya kiroho. Bwana sifiwe. Amen. Amen. So, while we as we use these spiritual weapons, tunapotumia silaha hizi zetu ambazo ni za kiroho, the state of our heart also is so important. Hali ya mioyo yetu ndio maana zaidi. Because if the state of the heart is wrong, kama hali yako ya moyo wako uko katika njia ambayo si nzuri, even if you are clothed with such powerful weapons, nasema ya kwamba kama moyo wako hauko katika hali nzuri hata kama utavalishwa hizi silaha ambazo ni za hodari, you will be like a soldier, utakuwa kama askari, who is given the best weapons, the most modern. Utakuwa kama askari mwanajeshi ambaye amepewa silaha ambazo ni za za ukuu zaidi and they are sent to go and fight na wanaentuma kule nje kupigana but in their heart they are not willing to fight na katika moyo wako hawataki kupigana vita they don't want to go hata hataki kwenda vitani will those weapons help them 
hizo vita hizo silaha zinamsaidia mwana Jesu a question Pauliza swali Will those weapons help him hizo silaha zitamsaidia so, the state of our heart so, is so important in Jesus name Can I try an example in the Bible A place where one servant of God was helping another servant of God And there was every opportunity in that fellowship na kulikuwa na nafasi bora katika hali ya kunena mmoja na mwingine there was every opportunity for the for each one of them to think of being carnal to think of responding in a carnal way katika sehemu hiyo walikuwa na nafasi bora ya kuwaza ya kwamba wapate kufikiria katika hali ya mwili tu you know apart from the devil mbali na adui There is another enemy called the, the carnal man. Na pia pale kuna mtu ambao ni mtu mtu wa asili. The Bible calls it the flesh. Biblia inasema mwili ama nyama. Carnal mind, yani wazo ambalo ni la mwili. Carnal reasoning, yani katika hali ya kuwazia mambo ambayo ni Adamic mwili. nature, yani ni mtu wa Adam huyo. Old man, yani mtu wa zamani. So the, the word of God keeps telling us put off the old man na biblia tunaona na kuiki sema kwamba upate kumvua mtu wa zamani that old man who thinks only of fighting in a carnal way na huyo mtu wa zamani ambao ni damu na nyama ambao anawaza tu katika hali ya kupigana katika hali put off that old man mvue huyo mtu instead badala yake put on the new man ukapata kuvaa huyo mtu mpya clothe yourself with the new man ibalisha na mtu mpya who is created the bible says who is created this new man na biblia inasema kwamba huyu mtu mpya ambaye ameumbwa is created in the image of god ameumbwa katika umbo wa bwana in holiness and in righteousness katika hali ya haki na put on that new man mvae huyu mtu put off the old man ndoa ama vua ile mtu put on the new man na ukavae mtu mpya praise the lord so i was remembering i have shared i keep sharing in this local church from that same passage of scripture tumekuwa tukisoma tumekuwa tukihubiri juu ya swala hilo katika katika ukumbi huu mara kwa mara we love to share whenever the lord gives us a theme in a, in the workers retreat in the leaders meeting we love to pursue it when we come back we love to pursue we love to go with that same thought because we know God has a reason why he has released such a word to us yes. at that time kama huduma tunakuwa na hali ya mazoea tunapoenda katika kongamano na watenda kazi na tumepewa mada fulani ama ujumbe fulani na kiongozi wetu tunaporejea katika kanisa zetu za mtaa sisi ufuatilia hayo mafundisho yale mada ambayo mtumishi wa bwana ametupa na tunafukuzia na kufuatilia hayo how many of us have read about Apostle Peter and Apostle Paul in the Bible. Amen. Paulo. Apostle Paul as we know, Mtume Paulo tunapojua, God sent him to the Gentiles. Mtume Paulo akapata kutumwa kwa watu wa mataifa. He was sent as an apostle to the Gentiles. Alitumwa kama mtume kwa watu wa mataifa. His main calling was to reach other nations outside of Israel. Na mwito wake mkuu aliitwa kuendea mataifa ambayo ilikuwa ya nje mbali na Israeli. Okay, we also had an opportunity to help his own nation Israel. But his moja, main calling was to the Gentiles. Kwa moja alipata nafasi kuwasaidia wa Wayahudi lakini mara nyingi Mungu akapata kumtuma kwa mataifa. On the other hand Peter was an apostle to the to the Jews. Na tunaona kwamba Mtume Petero <laughs> Yeye akapata kupewa jukumu kuu kwa hubiria na kwa kufundisha Wayahudi. So in the in the ministering katika hali ya kuhudumu kwao they would want sometime be able to minister together. Na katika huduma yao si wakati mmoja hawakuwa na hudumu pamoja. Sometimes they would meet together and they find they are ministering together. Na kwa wakati mmoja walijipata wana 
wanafundi, wanafundisha ama wanakaa pamoja katika huduma. Praise the Lord. Amen. So, they met one time in a place called Antioch. The na, Bible tells us. Kati moja ukapata kukutana pale mji unaoitwa Antioch. Antioch was a, a gentile place. Na uh, outside Israel. Antioch ulikuwa ni mji ambao ni mji unapatikana kule kwa mataifa. And there were believers started believed in the Lord Jesus Christ. Na kulikuwa na waamini ambao walikuwa wamemwamini Yesu Kristo katika From among the Gentiles. Na walikuwa baadhi ya watu wa mataifa. And now there was also some kind of teaching some kind of of teaching that was trying to say the Gentiles who get saved they must also observe the law of Moses. Yes, tunaona kwamba palikuwa na mafundisho pale katika hayo mafundisho walikuwa wanafundisha pale walikuwa wanaambia kwamba wale ambao ni wa mataifa lazima wapate kufuata sheria ambazo zilikuwa zimenukuliwa wakati wa, 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 wa Musa. Hata baada ya kuokoka. Hata baada ya kuokoka wanafuata hizo sheria. They left the teaching that is by the grace of God we are saved. Walikuwa wameacha zile mafundisho ambayo yalikuwa ni ya rehema za Bwana. And they were now introducing something about the law of Moses. Sasa walikuwa wanaanza kuleta mafundisho ya ya Musa pale. I know you never know what we are talking about. It's in Galatians. So yeah. one time, so wakati mmoja, while Peter has been in Antioch with Paul, wakati mmoja Petero na wamekuwa pamoja na Paulo kule Antioch. Some brethren came from Jerusalem. Kuna wapendwa wakati wa kule Yerusalemu. They have been sent by Apostle James. Walikuwa wamekuwa wametumwa na mtume James. And all this time when Peter and Paul are are ministering now wakati wote wakati Petero na na Paulo wanafundisha Peter is eating freely with the Gentiles na wanakuta kwamba wao wanakula pamoja na watu wa mataifa which is what grace is supposed to do which is what the gospel is supposed to do to break all the barriers all the barriers all the walls of partition such that we can embrace our brother regardless of what tribe they come from what race you know I, I, I sometimes think that this demon called tribalism is the same demon that is that is called racism in america they don't know tribalism but racism is a demon that is there hiyo marekani kuna pepo ambayo inaenea kuhusu rangi rangi ya mtu upaguzi wa rangi upaguzi ya rangi amen we are told that in india is india it's not race it's not tribalism because your kabila wala rangi there it is is a casteism or social class there's this class this class India, this class and sometimes those things are so strong even when people get saved they still see one another in the eyes of you come from such a tribe you come from such a race you come from such a caste so we can't freely fellowship even after getting saved the weapons we have been given are able to bring down even those wars in Jesus name sila sila tumepewa zinaweza kushusha zile ukuta zote ambazo ziko pale za ukabila na ubaguzi wa rangi until we can freely flow with each other ili tukapate kuwa na mtiriko mmoja na mwingine bwana asifiwe amen So Paul is one of those men of God. I'm going to get back to the story. Paul is one of them. Paul is one of those men of God. Paul ni mmoja wa mtumishi wa Bwana Paul. Whom God had helped so much. Ambao Mungu alikuwa amemsaidia zaidi. Until he no longer. Halifikia kiwango. Looked at anyone. Hakuwa anamtazama mtu. He says henceforth from this time forward we no longer judge any man according to the flesh we don't see them in terms of what tribe we don't see them in terms of what race we no longer judge anyone according to the flesh praise god amen 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 whenever tribalism is mentioned we Wakati, get a bit cold here it is, it is ugly 
We wait until elections come and then something wakes up. And we begin to judge one another according to the flesh. Okay, nobody says amen there. I still love you in Jesus' name. But those are some of the walls we have to break down. Amen. Until a sister like this can freely flow with a sister like this. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. We are heirs of the Father. Yes. We are joined heirs with the Son. Hallelujah. Amen. We are children of the kingdom. Amen. Amen. And we are how many families? One For, family. 44 families. We are 44 families in the church. No. We are 44 families in the church. No. How many families are we? No, jami moja. How many families are we? Jami moja. So stop seeing your brother and judging them according to the flesh. It is immaturity. It is coming down from the spiritual weapons and beginning to fight with carnal weapons. Anyway, let's get back to our story. So, some brethren have come from Jerusalem. Apostle James has sent them to Antioch. And they find Peter and Paul. Even Barnabas is there. Now when these brethren come from Jerusalem, and Peter knows they are Jews, and he knows how they feel about Gentiles, Peter begins to show something else. He separates himself quietly from the brethren who are Gentiles. He begins to withdraw from them. Is he judging in the spirit? I'm asking you a question. Is he judging by the spirit? Or judging after the flesh? He's judging after the flesh. It was hypocrisy. From a holy man of God. And Paul noticed it. Paul saw it. Paul saw it. Thank God for Paul. But thank God for Peter as well. Whenever I read that story, I see maturity in both of them. In the way they handle this. Sometimes we only look at Paul. Sometimes we only look at Paul. So, the Bible says that in that hypocrisy of Peter, withdrawing from the Gentile brethren, other brethren, other Jewish brethren, they also began to withdraw. Even another apostle called Barnabas, he joined up in the hypocrisy. So Paul had to stand. There must be something God is telling us. There must be something God is telling us. In Jesus' name. That we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Our brother is not our enemy. So Paul rose up. In that meeting. And he began to rebuke. Peter openly face to face an honest rebuke have you read that scripture in the Bible that says that says an open rebuke is better than hidden love secret love it's better 
Niheri. is better. Niheri. Truth is one of our weapons. We are to walk in truth with each other. We are to tell each other the truth. In Jesus' name. Hello. Hello. Praise God. Hypocrisy is not a weapon from God. Hypocrisy is a carnal weapon. So Paul rebuked him. Paulo akapata kumkemea. Ha. Thank God for such an honest rebuke. Nashukuru kwa kukemewa ambao kulikuwa ni kwema pale. An open rebuke. Yaani kukemewa ambao kulikuwa ni wazi. You know Paul had grown to maturity. Na Paulo alikuwa amefikia kiwango cha kukoma. Weba instead of keeping quiet badala ya kunyamaza and then later on I, I speak in the back of my brother. Did you hear what he said? Did you hear what he said? Did you see what he was doing? That is what we do. Say carnal weapons. Say carnal weapons. Say carnal weapons. It is carnal weapons. Look there. It's carnal, it's carnal weapons. When I hide from helping my brother openly. I prefer to stab him from the back. <laughs> that is submitting to the devil. That is beginning to use carnal weapons. Do you see my point, please? I'm saying we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. So we are to fight this warfare so, with understanding. Spiritual understanding. Not carnal understanding. We are to fight by revelation. We have to wait on God to show us <laughs> how to fight. In Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Amen. Glory to Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Did you, have you heard us saying many times that none of the wars that Israel was involved in, none of them was exactly alike in the way it was fought. Kati ya zile vita ambazo Mungu akapata kuwasaidia Israeli kupigana, vita hivi haikupiganwa na mbinu mmoja. Ilikuwa ni tofauti. Yes. Very different. Ilikuwa ni tofauti. One time God would give this strategy. Wakati mmoja alikuwa anawapea mbinu fulani. Another the time and this strategy. Wakati mwingine anawapatia mbinu nyingine tofauti. And because it was from God, na kwa sababu ilikuwa mbinu imetoka kwa Mungu, they succeeded. Wakapata kupata kushinda. One time God would tell Joshua. Wakati fulani Mungu anamwambia Joshua, Go behind them. Ya kwamba enda nyuma ya adui. Go behind them. Enda nyuma ya adui. And then have part of your army. Na chukua sehemu ya jeshi lako. Let them face them from front. Wacha wakakuja wakumbatane nao kutoka na mbele. And when the enemy comes now. Wakati adui atakimbia kija bidi yao. These ones who are facing direct, let them pretend like they are running away. Wacha wakae kana kwamba wanatorokea adui. And then those who are behind, they attack. That was a strategy from God. But it was not used in, a, in the same way. They didn't fight in the same way every time. Glory to God. Glory to Jesus. Amen. Amen. So Paul did not fight like he was fighting his brother. Paulo hakupigana vita kana kwamba anapigana na Petero. He was fighting a wrong doctrine. Alikuwa anapigana na mafundisho tofauti. A spirit of hypocrisy. Yaani kulikuwa na roho ya unafiki pale. Which would have spoiled the gospel. Na ingepata kuharibu kuhubiri injili. The Gentiles would not get saved. Watu wa mataifa wangeokoka. They would be brought back to the law. And the gospel will be no longer a gospel where we get saved by our faith in the Lord Jesus. So thank God for Paul. Thank God for Paul. 
Thank God for Paul. May there be many Pauls in the church. Who can look at their brother in the eye. And tell my brother. My brother. This is wrong. This is not right. The what you say. What you did. Can we say shame on us when we backbite our brother? When we stop our brother from the back, say shame on us. Shame on us. Yeah. Even that, that kind of phrase, somewhere in the Bible, Daniel said, To you, O oh God, belongs righteousness, holiness, but to us, shame, shame facedness. So it's not too, too bad to say shame on us. When we become carnal, when you are stabbing your sister from the back. That time the devil is saying, ha, ha, I, succeed. I succeeded to convince them that the warfare is coming. The warfare is against your brother. Stop making the devil rejoice. Thank God for Peter as well. I know. Maybe you never thought about Peter. You know, Peter had an opportunity to retaliate. How can you correct me? I was an apostle before you. How can you embarrass me in front of this young believers, Gentile believers? Did Peter come down to carnal weapons? I'm asking you, did he come down to carnal weapons to see Paul as an enemy? I'm asking you a question, Judge. Praise God. I consider that brother mature because he took the correction. He submitted to correction. Praise the Lord. Because if it had not been corrected there, brethren would have gone with that wrong doctrine. They would have gone out with hypocrisy. And the gospel would have been defied. Thank you, Peter. Thank you for Paul. Thank you for Peter. Amen. Ta tell your neighbor you can take on correction, brother. And stop looking at your brother as an enemy. Come on, do it. It is true that people who correct others, they are never liked so much. They, don't, they are not liked. They are not among the Hello! Hello! Open rebuke is better than secret love. Amen. Amen. We wrestle not against flesh and blood. We wrestle against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Almighty God. Thank By the way, in this day of revival, we may see all kinds of people come to church. Don't begin to judge them by looking at them in the flesh. God has brought them so that they may be helped in the church. Amen. In Jesus' name. Hello. Hello. The weapons of our warfare, they are not just called the armor of God. They are called the armor of light. That means light is so powerful. It's able to dispel every darkness. Are we following the teaching? Say armor of light. Armor of light. Say armor of righteousness. Say armor of righteousness. Amen. Amen. Those are the weapons we fight with. Armor of light. Amen. 
In the end times which we are in and we are in Katika the last days. Yake, the Bible says there will be gross darkness. Very heavy darkness. Very heavy darkness. Giza but at the same time it says Mahaya, and the glory of the Lord shall rise up all upon you we who are believers. Sisi wawamini, there shall be the glory of God upon us. And that glory is enough to dispel darkness. Amen. 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 So don't cast out anyone whom the Lord brings into the church. Choose to help them. Choose to help. You know, I'm not fond of that kind of doctrine where but, uh, 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 a sorcerer has come to church. Hey. Look. Do you know what I'm saying? Let me walk majestically a little bit. Let me walk majestically a little bit. And let me ask you a question there. Are the weapons of warfare God has given us are they weaker than the, the weapons yes, yes. of darkness? Yes. Such, that, such that we should fear everyone who comes to church. Hello? Hello? In the day of revival, God will bring all kinds of people to church. Amen! We need to know that the weapons we have are mighty through God to the pulling down of souls. Of souls. In the name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise God. Amen. 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 So I'm not about to run away. I'm not about to run away. I'm not about to run away. Because someone came to church. And the way they are dressed. They look like. Wow, this is sorcerer number three. Hello. 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 Even in the world there, they say, don't judge. A book from this by cover. its cover. By its cover. We judge a book by the content. Yes. Is content. that true? Yes. You have gone to school. Yes. Do you judge books by the by the this outside? Henceforth, we judge no man after the flesh. We judge no man yes. after the flesh. Hello. 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 The weapons of our warfare are not carnal. We cannot fight in a carnal way, brethren. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Be willing to help everybody. Can I testify? Yes. How many of us have heard of a person, a brother, a minister, called, who used to be called Mukendi? Yes. And is now Etienne Makanda, evangelist Etienne Makanda. How many of us have heard of him? Yes. Oh, you have. Great. He's a mighty evangelist. Yes. He ministers between in the town that is at the border of Congo and Zimbabwe. Is it Zimbabwe or Zambia? Yes. Town. He's an evangelist. But before he got saved, he was? So sad. The, the, he said he had nine levels of covenant with, yes. with Satan. Yes. Nine I'm levels. Magano. If everybody would run away from him, like, hey, Sasara number nine has come. Who would ever have shared the gospel with him? I'm challenging you. The weapons of our warfare, they are mighty through God to the pulling town of strongholds. Amen. Amen. I said, the gates of hell, the gates of hell. Cannot prevail against us. Amen. 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 I'm challenging you. We are in revival. 
We are in revival. And we will meet all kinds of people. We will meet all kinds of people. But what we have. What we have. What we have. The gates of hell cannot resist. Cannot, cannot prevail against. In Jesus name. So thank God for that brother or sister. That had courage to face Mukend. Alikuwa na hali ya ujasiri ya kushirikisha habari njema ama injili kwa Mukendi. And today we have a mighty man of God. Sasa ni mtu mkuu wa Bwana na hubiri injili. In fact, I, uh, one time I, I was somewhere near him. Wakati mmoja alikuwa karibu na yeye at the airport. Jake I. Alikuwa karibu pamoja na yeye. And he was testifying. Alikuwa anashuhudia katika uwanja wa ndege pale. That time he was 25 years in the Lord. Kati alikuwa na miaka 25 katika Bwana. And he was saying, alikuwa anasema to some another minister, you know pastor, you know pastor, you know pastor, I served the devil for 25 good years. <laughs> Nipata kumhudumia shetani kwa miaka 25. And now by the grace of God I've served him 25 years. Sasa kwa neema ya Bwana nimemkumbukia Bwana kwa miaka 25. And he's saying my days in the Lord I cannot compare with the days. Challenge your brother. Tell them, brother, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. Stop judging people. Stop judging people by the way they look. Amen. Stop judging them according to the flesh. Amen. Amen. They will they can become mighty in God. Wanaweza kuwa ni watu wakubwa ya Bwana. Amen. Amen. Bwana did God run away from this brother because Mungu akapata alipata kumtorokea mbali huyu mchungaji. Thank God. Nashukuru Bwana. Someone shared the gospel with me. Mtu akapata kumshirikia injili kwake. Do do I look like someone you can run away from? God has done something in my life. Mungu amepata kumfanyia kazi mchungaji. Hallelujah. This Jesus is so sweet. This Jesus is so sweet. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I never he faced so many battles. Jesus faced so many battles. But I never see him fighting in a carnal way. I never see him fighting with carnal weapons. I want to be like Jesus. I want to be like Jesus. In Jesus name. So by the way we don't teach anybody. Hatufundishi watu. To to pray that sorrows all the sorrows in Rongai ta. Hatuombi ombi ya kwamba tuwachai watu wakufu ongata Rongai. Our prayer is that they get saved. Ombi letu ni kwamba wachai wao wakufu. Our prayer is they get saved. Wachai wao wakufu. Our prayer is they get saved. Ombi letu ni kwamba wachai wao wakufu. In Jesus name. Because the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds and to set, so to set the captivity uh, free. Those who are captives of to set them free. So. Can I finish by saying thank God for Peter as well? He did not react. Hakupata kuitikia katika hali ya njia mbaya. In fact we see him writing in one of his letters. Naona akiandika katika baadhi ya barua zake. He's writing about Paul. Ananena kuhusu Paulo. If he had developed a grudge. Kama alikuwa na hali ya chuki ama uchungu ndani yake. Against Peter, against Paul. Juu ya Paulo. Because he was corrected in public. He would not write such a thing. He would not write. Let us not retaliate. When we, are, when, we, when we are threatened. He would not write those things. He would not write those things. Did you get something from this? Did you get something? Did you get something? The weapons of our warfare are not carnal. Are not carnal. Are not carnal. We don't wrestle against flesh and blood. In Jesus name. I'm sure you will fight a better warfare.
I'm sure you will fight what the Bible says. Fight a good warfare. Na naamini kwamba utapigana kila ambao maandiko yanasema kwamba utapigana vita vizuri. A good warfare. Yaani vita vizuri. Can you just be before the Lord? Nenda mbele za Bwana. And just be before God. Nenda mbele za Bwana. And speak to the Lord. Na nena na Bwana. Speak to the Lord. Nena na Bwana. Speak to the Lord. Nena na Bwana. Lord. Eh Bwana. Forgive me Lord. Nisamehe baba. Forgive me. Nisamehe. Where I looked at my warfare. Mahali mpata kutazama vita vyangu as a carnal warfare kama vita vya mwili na damu and i even use carnal weapons na nikatumia silaha ambazo zilikuwa za mwili weapons baba nilitumia silaha za mwili carnal weapons silaha ambazo ni za mwili i retaliated baba nilitikia i sought to revenge nikapata hali ya kujibu katika njia mbaya i returned anger for anger nirejesha hasira kwa hasira i even became suspicious na nikakuwa katika hali ya ku I even allowed suspicion in my spirit. Lord, I repent. Baba I repent my Baba father. Natubu. I repent. Natubu, Baba. Because of fighting carnally. Fighting, fighting with carnal weapons. Fighting with carnal weapons. I repent, Lord. Baba I repent. I repent. I repent. I repent. I repent. For allowing the deception of the enemy. To deceive me. That my warfare is carnal. Lord, I repent. Lord, I repent. Lord, I repent. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I even repent, Lord. I even repent, O God. I repent, O God, where I judge people. Mahali ambapo nilipata kwa hukumu watu in a carnal way. Katika njia ya mwili. I judge them Lord. Nilipata kwa hukumu by the flesh. Kupitia kwa mwili. And I began to react in the flesh. Nilianza kuitika katika hali ya mwili pia. Reasoning in the flesh. Kuwazia katika mwili. Your word tells me Father. Neno lako linaniambia baba. A carnal mind. Yaani wazo ambalo ni za mwili is an enemy to God. Yaani ni adui kwa Mungu. To be carnally minded. Yaani kuwa katika hali ya mwili katika mwazo. But to be spiritual minded is life and peace. Lord, Lord God, I repent of being carnal, my Father. Of being carnal. Being carnal. Being carnal. Responding carnally. Responding in a carnal way. Oh God, I repent. In Jesus name. Even where I've been hypocritical. And I acted in hypocrisy. Father forgive me. In Jesus name. I must walk in truth. I must walk in truth. With my brethren. Where I stopped my brother. From the back. I stabbed them from the back by the words I spoke to another brother. I repent of stabbing my brother, stabbing my sister from the back. From the back, I used carnal weapons. Father, I repent in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I did not walk as a child of light. I did not walk in the light. I walked in darkness. Father, I repent. The weapons you have given us is not called the armor of darkness. It's the armor of light. I must walk in the light in the name of Jesus. It is the armor of light. Armor of righteousness. Armor of righteousness. Armor of truth. Father God, I humble myself in Jesus name I ask you to forgive me father forgive me my father in the name of Jesus 
in the name of Jesus katika jina la Yesu in the name of Jesus katika jina la Yesu in the name of Jesus katika jina la Yesu in the name of Jesus katika jina la Yesu in the name of Jesus katika jina la Yesu In the name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu. We are going to stand in the presence of the Lord. Naenda kusimama mbele ya uwepo wa Bwana. Tusimame mbele ya uwepo wa Bwana. In Jesus name. Katika jina la Yesu. 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 We want to stand. Nataka kusimama before the Lord. Mbele za Bwana. In Jesus name. Katika jina la Yesu. 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 In the name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu. In the name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu. In the name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu. In the name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu. Oh God of glory. Eh hey, Mungu wetu. Oh God of glory. Eh hey, Mungu wetu. Forgive us our father. Usamee baba. Forgive us our father. Usamee baba. Where we have shied away. Mali tumepata kutorokea. From sharing the gospel. Oh katika hali ya kukuhubiri habari. People oh God. Kwa watu wa Mungu. Because of the way they looked. Jinsi wanavyomtazama wao. Some had tattoos. Wengine wana hali ya michoro ndani yao tattoos on their body we got scared we ran away from them forgive us our father fear is not a weapon you have given us forgive us O Lord somebody tell the Lord to forgive you in Jesus name the weapons of our warfare are not carnal in Jesus name in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus Christ Oh God of glory. Eban. God of glory. Eh hey, Mungu utukufu. Somebody pray give me discernment Lord. Omba nasi pamoja. Give me spiritual understanding. Nipe ufahamu ambao ni wa kiroho. Give me spiritual understanding. Nipe ufahamu wa kiroho. Spiritual understanding. Yaani ufahamu wa kiroho. Give me discernment. Nipe katika hali ya kupambanua maroho. Give me discernment. Nipe katika hali ya kupambanua maroho. Discernment my father. Kupambanua baba. Discernment my God. Yaani hali ya kupambanua maroho. Give me to discern. Nipe hali ya kupambanua maroho. To discern the enemy. Yaani kapata kupambanua adui. To discern. Nikapata kupambanua adui. The kind of warfare. Yaani vita gani ninapiga? about oh lord yani vita give me apikani. spiritual understanding spiritual understanding in the name of jesus give me oh god baba nipe give me oh god nipe baba give me almighty father nipe baba give me almighty father nipe baba in the name of jesus katika jina la yesu in the name of jesus katika jina la yesu in the name of jesus katika jina la yesu while we are standing and praying kwa tukisimama na tunaomba and you are praying individually kama unaomba mtu binafsi pray pray that you will listen you will be able to hear utakuwa tayari katika hali ya kusikia clear direction na kusikiza njia ambayo ni nzuri kutoka kwa bwana the holy spirit guiding you in warfare in matters of warfare in Jesus name that you will listen to the Holy Spirit and not the carnal man that is trying to rise up Yaani katika hali ya kuinuka that tries to rise up ambaye anataka kuinuka tries to find an occasion yani mwili anataka kuinuka katika hali ya nafasi fulani pray for yourself Jiombe. You can pray in tongues. You can pray in the spirit. 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 In the name of Jesus. The Bible has told us. Praying with all prayer and supplication. In the spirit. Katika hali ya kiroho. Praying in the spirit. Kuomba katika roho. Praying in the spirit. Katika kuomba katika roho. Let's pray a little bit in the spirit. Kuomba katika, katika roho. Pray in the spirit. Kuomba 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 katika roho. Even as you pray. Atunapoomba. If you are not spirit filled. Utajaza na Roho Mtakatifu. Receive. Utajaza. The gift of the Holy Spirit. Receive. Karama za Roho Mtakatifu. The gift of the Holy Spirit. Karama za Roho Mtakatifu. Receive. Pokea. The gift of the Holy Spirit. Karama za Roho Mtakatifu. In the name of Jesus. Right where you are. Hapo mahali upo. Right where you are. Mahali ambapo upo. Receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. The gift of the Holy Spirit. 
The gift of the Holy Spirit who is to help us in warfare. Jesus said you shall receive power from on high when the Holy Spirit is come upon you. Receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Receive 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 the gift of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus pray in the Spirit 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 Jesus mighty name Jesus mighty name Jesus mighty name Pray in the spirit Pray in the spirit Pray in the spirit The Holy Spirit Knows the details Of the warfare Pray in the spirit 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 Pray in the spirit. Pray in the spirit. Kora basakanta yebeka. Rekele me saba papa ka. Rikara ba kante rebeka. Rekende be kora basike. Pray in the spirit. Pray in the spirit. The name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Pray in the spirit. Pray in the spirit. Pray in the spirit. Pray in the spirit. In the name of Jesus. Receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Receive the promise of the Father. Jesus name. Jesus name. Jesus name. Jesus mighty 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 name. In the name of Jesus. 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 The name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. The mighty 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 name of Jesus. We want to pray using the word. Also. The Bible says, no weapon formed against us will prosper. No weapon, no weapon formed against us. I want us to declare that word over every weapon that the devil is intending to use against us. We want to send the word. We want to use the sword of the spirit which is the word of God. Whatever strategy, whatever weapon, the enemy has formed against our families, against our business, against our children. We want to declare the war over those weapons. Everybody say, no weapon, no weapon. Say, I declare the word. No weapon formed against me. No strategy formed against me. No strategy formed against my family. Formed against my business. Formed against my ministry. No weapon. No weapon. 
Hakuna silaha. No weapon. Hakuna silaha. No weapon. Hakuna silaha. No weapon. Hakuna silaha. Formed against my Amen. children. Bini ya watoto wangu. None. Hakuna. None. Hakuna. Will prosper. Itapata kulizidi. In the name of Jesus. Itapata kufaulu. All those weapons. Hizo silaha zote. They shall not prosper. Hazita faulu. They shall not prosper. Hazita faulu. Against me. Bidi yangu. Against my family. Bidi ya jamii yangu. Against the church. Bidi ya kanisa. Against evangelism. Bini wa wa uingilisi. No weapon. Hakuna silaha. No weapon. Hakuna silaha. Formed against us. Inaumba bidi yangu. Shall prosper. Itapata kufaulu. In the name of Jesus. Katika jina la yesu. In the name of Jesus. 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 Jesus name. You see we are not saying no weapon. We are saying no person. Atusemi mtu fulani. Because we are not, Because we are not fighting against flesh and blood. Atupigane bini ya damu na mwili. We are saying the weapons. Tunasema silaha. That they are using. Zile silaha wanaotumia. The demons behind them. Yali mapepo wanaotumia. Those weapons. Zile silaha. They shall not prosper. Hazita faulu. They shall not prosper. Hazita faulu. They shall not prosper. Zile silaha hazita faulu. They shall not prosper. Hazita faulu. They shall not prosper. Hazita faulu. In the name of Jesus. Katika jina la They shall not prosper. Hazita faulu. They shall not prosper. Hazita faulu. Now also say. Every time Yaani ulimi wote every time ule ulimi wote that has risen against me ambao ameinuka bidi yangu in judgment katika hali ya hukumu all that will rise against me ambao itapata kuinuka bidi yangu in judgment katika hukumu i condemn nina ikemea i condemn na inena kinyume nayo those stands hizo ndimi in the name of jesus katika jina la i condemn them nina ikemea i condemn them nina ikemea sasa condemn the tongues kemezo ndimi in jesus name katika jina la yesu in jesus name katika jina la yesu in jesus name katika jina la yesu say i will prosper nitafaulu i will prosper nitafanikiwa spiritually katika hali ya ulimwengu wa kiroho i will prosper nitapata kufanikiwa materially katika hali ya mamali i will prosper nitafanikiwa in my family katika jamii yangu i will prosper nitafanikiwa i will prosper nitafanikiwa in ministry katika huduma i will prosper nitafanikiwa in serving the lord katika kumtumikia bwana i will prosper nitafanikiwa my children will prosper wana wangu watapata kufanikiwa in the name of jesus katika jina la yesu in the name of jesus katika jina la yesu in the name of jesus katika jina la yesu say my children watoto wangu Will serve my God. Watamtumikia Mungu wangu. In Jesus name. Katika jina la Yesu. They will serve the God I serve. Watamtumikia Mungu na mtumikia. Say my household. Watu wa nyumba yangu. Say as for me. Na kwangu mimi. And my household. Na watu wa nyumba yangu. We will serve the Lord. Tutamtumikia Bwana. 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 Say as for me, na mimi kwangu and my household. Na watu wa nyumba yangu. We will serve the Lord. Tutamtumikia Bwana. We will serve the Lord. Tutamtumikia Bwana. In the name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu. In the name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu. Say the gates of hell. Milango ya kuzimu shall not prevail. Haitatuzidi against me. Juu yangu. Against my family. Juu ya jamii yangu. They shall not prevail. Hawatatuzidi. They shall not prevail. Hayatatuzidi against my blessing. Bidi wa baraka zangu. In the name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu. We are praying, we are praying. Tunaomba, tunaomba. Hii ni vita. This is warfare. Hii ni vita. This is warfare. Hii ni vita. Finally, finally, mwisho. Finally, mwisho. The Bible says, maandiko nasema, they overcame the devil. Walipata kumshinda shetani. By the blood of the lamb. Say with me, they overcame the devil. Walimshinda shetani by the blood of the lamb. Kwa kupitia damu ya mwana kondoo. Say I bleed the blood. 
the blood of Jesus I plead the blood I plead the blood of Jesus I plead the blood of Jesus I plead the blood of Jesus come on plead the blood plead the blood plead the blood of Jesus plead the blood of Jesus over your family over your business plead the blood Plead the blood of Jesus. Plead the blood. Plead the blood of Jesus. Plead the blood. Say I plead the blood. The blood of the Lamb. I plead the blood of the Lamb. In the name of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus. Plead the blood of Jesus. Over all my ways, over my going out, and my coming in, I plead the blood of Jesus. Over my office, over my office, over my office, my business, my ministry, I plead the blood. The blood of Jesus. 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 We plead the blood. We plead the blood. We plead the blood. We plead the blood. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. Jesus mighty name. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the victory. 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 Thank you, Asanoko Shindi. Thank you for the victory, Lord. Asanoko Shindi. Thank you for the victory. Asanoko Shindi. Thank you for the victory. Asanoko Shindi. Jesus name. Katika jina la Yesu. Now, if you are there. Come on, and you are not saved. Come on, Kopala, Lift your right hand. Lift your hand. Lift your hand to Jesus. You are not saved. You don't know Jesus as your Passover. How much you Jesus come on, Mokozi? All right, let's let's agree together. Waja tu kubali ane pamoja. Let's pray. There could be somebody watching revival TV. When the kudamuta na tazama yuroninga. And you're there. You want to give your life to Jesus. The captain of our salvation. The Lord who is mighty in battle. The Lord who is mighty in battle. The Lord who is able to fight your battles. Surrender your life to him. If you're there, you want to give your life to Jesus. Say this prayer. After me. In Jesus name. Say Lord Jesus. I thank you for loving me. Today I come to you. I confess my sin. I ask you to forgive me Lord Jesus. Wash me in your precious blood. Save my soul. I receive you into my heart. As my Lord and Savior. I thank you Lord Jesus. For saving me. Thank you for writing my name. In the book of life. Hold my right hand. Hold my right hand. And lead me. From this day forward. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen.
Amen. If you repeated that prayer, you have saved. The Bible says, whoever receives the Lord Jesus is given the right, the power to become a child of God. Look for a church where you can fellowship. We welcome you among us if you stay around Ongataronga. God bless you. We love you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Can we give God a hand clap of praise?